Do everything you can to help keep your team alive. Swing the bat well today, and if you go down, go down swinging. You never know if you will get this far again. Well, welcome back to the Joe Broadway MLB 2K10 My Player Series, and we start this one off with a Broadway bomb to left center field, almost uh, dead center actually. That one goes 418 feet. It's his seventh of the postseason, and hopefully this will help turn the World Series around for the Giants as they trail three games to one coming in to game five here. Joe trying to set the tone early with a big blast, as you'll see the replay here. As he waits on it, and he smashes this one to center, and the pitcher knows it's gone right away. As you watch Joe admire his shot, as he would like to do more often than not. So as he rounds the bases, uh, he comes up, and they've got a 5 nothing lead the next time around, and he just crushes this ball to right center. Uh, he's going to get a couple RBIs on that play. RBI double. And uh, he's got a huge start to this game as they make a statement coming out uh, out of the gate 7 nothing here in the second. And you see that one uh, dug out from just about the uh, about the, the top of the dirt there. And uh, Joe with a fancy slide thinking maybe that ball wouldn't get cut off, but it does. But uh, he scores. Um, whether they slid or not, he would have scored there. But they got a 9 nothing lead now. And in the third, is he uh, looking for more, but he'll strike out here. So, uh, nursing a huge lead, 9 nothing in the third. Looks like they will uh, at least get themselves back to uh, San Francisco here for a shot at game 6 and 7. Although Tampa has, uh, has uh, kind of closed the gap, and that's a nifty double play uh, done by the first baseman there as he makes the stab and then uh, doubles up the guy off. But... Joe comes back, gets another hit and another RBI, just having an absolute monster of a game. And uh, here you see uh, on first now, 10 to 5. They are checking Joe quite closely there. He does get back. So uh, in the ninth now, five run lead. Joe uh, back just a little bit of his, of his spot there and ends the game on that pop up. Way to make it happen. Four ribbies. You kept those rallies going. So Joe's huge day helps the Giants get to a game six, and uh, most importantly, this goes back to San Francisco, although that didn't help them in games one and two at all as they dropped both of those to the Rays. Uh, here you see with the Rays uh, have guys on and threatening early, and that's a big play by Joe, um, although I do believe they do score here uh, to get an out. And as a matter of fact, they scored three in the first. So uh, Joe coming back and just crushing this ball to right field. Uh, may have been a splashdown. Don't know because they won't show you, and I can't tell you. So um, all I know is he crushed it a long way. Another Broadway bomb to right. And uh, this one might have even cleared the park. So uh, having to do some work because they fell in the 3 nothing hole early, that definitely uh, will help. So... Uh, Joe is homered once again. Uh, unfortunately, it's a 4-1 game in the third here. So um, they've got uh, a lot of ground to cover still. So as he makes the play here for the first out in the third, um, thinking about when he's going to get back to the plate, and that will happen in the bottom of the third. And uh, yet another hit. Runner on first advances him to second on, on Joe's single. So uh, now they get the tying run coming to the plate, and it's still early, but they want to uh, do some damage, which they um, are not able to do. So here in the, uh, we're at the top of the fourth, and Joe making some more plays almost through that in the dirt, but nice play by the first baseman to grab it. So Joe back to the plate, and it's a 5-1 ball game now in the fifth. Things um, are starting to look worse and worse, and that's a great play by the shortstop. How, how more frustrating could this get for Joe and the Giants? Uh, it's the eighth, and it's still 5-1. And that ball, uh, just about a double play, but a great slide into second actually um, stops that from being an inning and double play. As here you see, um, we are simmed up to 5-3 now. So the Giants have gotten a couple runs back, but they are running out of time. So let's set the scene. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. This could be the end of the World Series for the Rays. Bases are loaded. Joe cracks one to the gap in right center. This goes all the way to the wall. One is scored. The second run is on the way home. Could a third score? 
Yes, it could. Joe gets a walk-off triple. Instead of this World Series ending, he has prolonged it to Game 7 with the huge clutch hit. Four RBIs. Now that's making your mark. I can't imagine a bigger game in such a clutch moment, and he comes through, and it could have been the end of everything, and instead, they live to play Game 7. It all comes down to this. Have some big at-bats for your team today. Best of luck. So fresh in Joe's mind is the way that they ended uh, last season with the loss to the Red Sox in the World Series. Here he gets a pitch. He hits uh, high and deep to left center, although that is going to be an out at the warning track. So Joe um, uh, teases the fans with a, with a, a near miss on, the, on a home run, but uh, it is not to be. So Tampa with a 1-0 lead here. Uh, as Joe comes up, it is now 2-0 in the fourth. And, and Joe again hitting the ball deep, and this one gets over the right fielder's head off the wall. He's digging for second, and he will be in there with the slide as the ball's cut off. So he doubles here, trying to start a rally in the fourth, and uh, with nobody out, next batter. That's a nice play by the second baseman. He's going to get the out. Joe almost comes around too far on third base, but he uh, he makes makes them uh, think about him and throw the ball home. So. So at third here with one out now, and this ball uh, hit to the first baseman. They're going to make a play at first, but Joe with some heads-up base running scores uh, after his double, gets around the bases and scores and cuts the lead in half. So 2-1 now, but it is in the sixth inning, and things are starting to get late again. Um, and Joe stabs this one 3-1 uh, now as, as he gets his bat in the sixth. So he's got to go up against Garza here and get some damage done. It's a 1-2 count. This ball... Uh, reminiscent of the, of the ball he hit in the gap to end game six, although this one doesn't uh, make it to the fence. But uh, he will uh, single to right center there again and trying to ignite a rally, trying to do everything he can in his power to uh, will his team to a game seven one win and a World uh, Series trophy. So here he goes from first to third on the single. So now you got two guys on. You got a 3 1 ball game. You got one out. This ball hit right at the second baseman, and unfortunately that's going to be a double play. Run does not score because that's the second and third outs. So Joe coming up again, running out of time once again. Uh, this time now they are down 3-2, and it is the eighth inning. Nobody out. So uh, he gets a 1-2 count here, and he's able to take the 1-2 pitch and deposit it into left field for a hit. Once again, trying to start a rally here. Down a run, and uh, this very well could be his last at bat of the World Series if his teammates can't come through here. So still nobody out. This ball's hit hard. Joe uh, hesitates here as it whizzes right past his ear. Uh, he gets into second. And so first and second, nobody out. And Joe very alertly gets back on the pickoff attempt. So here you go, 3-2, bottom of the eighth. Nobody out. Giants trying to rally. This ball will be hit into center field. And that is actually going to find the gap. Joe is going to score. If the runner behind him gets on his horse, he might score too to bring home the go-ahead. And sure enough, he does. That is a triple. And the Giants have taken the lead late in Game 7. As they go to the ninth, this will sim a little bit. And actually, the Giants add a run. And there you have it. The hard work has paid off. Joe has willed this Giants team to a World Series championship. Uh, once again, they come back from three games to one, just as they did in the NLCS. They do it in the World Series as well, and they uh, win it. And I unlock an achievement here, uh, the goal. And obviously, the goal is to win a championship. So there you are, uh, one step closer to becoming a Hall of Famer with another goal passed and won the World Series, and that is uh, on the list of Hall of Fame goals. Come on back for the offseason, guys, after this great year.